Hello friends, today we will discuss about finite automata and their types. Right? What is finite automata? We all know automata is the study of abstract computing devices. Automata theory is the study of abstract computing device. So automata is an abstract computing machine. Then what is finite automata? The finite automata consists of some finite set of states and it accepts external inputs to move from one state to another. Right? It is having some finite set of states and it accepts external inputs to move from one state to another. And what are the different types of finite automata means? There are two major different types. First one is the deterministic and second one is the non-deterministic finite automata. First one is the deterministic finite automata and second one is the non-deterministic finite automata. What is determinism and non-determinism? Deterministic means that is the, here the control is at only one state once. Once the control is at exactly at one state. But in non-deterministic finite automata, the control may be at more than one state. Right? The control is at more than one state once. That is how we are defining this difference formally means in DFA, it can make one transition, only one transition for each and every input symbol from every state. But in NFA, that is in non-deterministic finite automata, here for each and every input symbol, it, may, it can have 0 or 1 or more number of transitions. That is the major difference between DFA and NFA. Today, we will discuss about the formal definitions of the deterministic finite automata. The definition may consist of some 5 set of tuples that are Q, summation, del, Q0, F. Here A is called just called as the name of the DFA. A is the name of the DFA. Q summation del Q not F. Q is defined as the finite set of states. Q is called as the finite set of states. And summation is called as the set of alphabets. Del that is transition function. Transition function means how we are moving from one state to another. That is called as the transition function. Q not is the start state. For each and every DFA there must be early. There must be exactly one start state. And last one is the final state. That is the final state may be a number of states. It may consist of some set of final states. Q is the start state and F is the final state. Start state is only one for each and every DFA. But final state may be a number of states for each and every DFA. Right? This is the formal definition for the DFA. And next one is the what are the two different notations for representing the DFA. First one is called as the transition diagram. Two different notations. Here first one is the transition diagram and second one is the transition table. Transition diagram means how we are representing the DFA graphically or pictorially. Right? Here the state, just the state can be represented by using circles. State can be represented by using circles. The start state can be represented by using arrow mark. Start state can be represented by using arrow mark like this. Final state can be represented by using the double circle and the transition from one state to another. If you are having two states like this, one and two, one and two or two different states, if we want to move from state one to state two, that is we are making transition for the input symbol A. This is called as the transition. We are making transition from state one to state two for the input symbol A and this is called as the transitions. The transitions can be represented by using the arcs, right? And next one is the transition table. Transition table means that is the conventional tabular representation of the DFA. Conventional tabular representation of the DFA. It consists of rows and columns like this. Here we are having two input symbol A, B and two states Q0, Q1 means this can be written like this. For example, we are having an automata like this. First state is called as Q0 and this will be considered as the start state and second state will be considered as QF and this is called as the final state. Right? If you are having two states and we are defining the alphabets for this DFA are A and B. That is alphabets, that is set of symbols represented here are A and B. So we have to make this in transition for this two input symbols for each and every state present in the DFA. Here we are having two states and two input symbols. For each and every input symbol, we have to make two transition for the states. Right? First one is we have to make transition for A from the state Q0 
and transition for the symbol B from the state Q0. Likewise, transition for A and B from the state QF. Right? First consider from Q0 for the input symbol A, we are making transition to the state QF. Right? And next, from Q0 for B, we are having self transition. This is called as self transition. And this is the transition from the state Q0 to QF. And for QF, now we completed the transitions for the state Q0. Now for the state QF, we have to make transitions for both the input symbols A and B. Here for both the symbols A and B, we are having self transition. Right? QF comma A is also self transition. QF comma B is also self transition. Now the DFA is completed. Complete DFA. Right? Now how we will define this DFA? Here the alphabets of A and B. So summation is equal to A and B. And what is Q? Q is equal to set of states. Here what are the states we are having? Q0 comma QF. These are the set of states. Right? Next one is the transition functions. Del. Transition functions. What are the transition functions means? First thing is consider the state Q0. Del of Q0 comma what is the input symbol for Q0? We are having symbol A and B. First one is Q0 comma A that is equal to Q0 comma A that is equal to what? QF. For each and every transition function we have to consider two arguments. First argument is the start state of the transition and second one is the input symbol. Right? The result is equal to end state of the transition. Del of Q0 start state of the transition. A is the input symbol and QF is the end state of the transition. Next Q0 comma B. For Q0 comma B, what is the end transition state? Q0 comma B. Comma B, again we are having the same state Q0. The control is at the same state Q0. Next for Q1, sorry QF. Second state is QF. QF comma A is equal to. What is QF comma A? That is QF is the start state of the transition. Input symbol A that is equal to again QF. The control is residing at the same state QF. Plus QF comma B. QF comma B is also QF again it is at the same state QF. Right? These are the transition functions of this particular DFA. These are the transition functions of this DFA. Star, summation, set of alphabets, Q, set of states, set of transition functions. And here which one is the start state? Start state is Q0 and what is the final state? QF. QF is the final state. QF is can be represented as the set of final state. So it is equal to QF. And what is the related transition table for this? We are having two states Q0 and QF. What are the input symbols? A and B. What is Q0, A? Q0, A is equal to QF. Q0, B is equal to Q0. QF, A is equal to again QF. QF, B is also equal to QF. Right? The start state can be represented by using arrow mark and final state can be represented by using star in the table, in the transition table. Right? This is all about the definition and the notations of the DFA. Thank you.